Right now, the city of Pueblo marking a somber anniversary. Tomorrow will mark 100 years since the deadly Arkansas River flood struck the city. News Eyes Natalie Chuck live from the Riverwalk for us tonight where that flooding began all those years ago. Natalie? Hey there, Rob. Yeah, this 100th anniversary has really served as a time of reflection for the city of Pueblo. The Rocky Mountain PBS put together a brand new documentary all about the flood, and it looks at just how far we've come as a community since that natural disaster. Finding good. Human suffering and loss were much more difficult to quantify. From the bad. I think the... Uh the prevalent word today is resiliency. Resilience is exactly what Pueblo had to find after the deadly flood in 1921. What really struck me was a really difficult span of events in a short period of time. So World War I and then the Spanish flu pandemic and then the flood hits and then we have uh, the depression and then the Dust Bowl. I mean, all within 20 years. Through the making of the documentary honoring 100 years since the Arkansas River flooded, scriptwriter and co-producer Samuel Ebersole says the people made the whole thing possible. The, the community was so supportive and everyone was so responsive when we would call them up and ask for an interview or ask to look at their photo collection or what have you. So why is it so important that we keep the memory of this tragic day alive? I, I think it represents, um, you know, what this community has been through and it gives us a chance to look back at the bravery and the resiliency of the, our ancestors who, as I said, came from all over the world to build this community. And thanks to Rocky Mountain PBS, people are still studying the 1921 flood to this day. Pueblo's story of the flood will live on film for generations. And if that got you wanting to watch the documentary yourself, you can do that right here tonight free of charge. And the crew behind the documentary is really excited to share that experience with you. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.